Evening all, welcome to Elite. Right, am I booming in your ears? Possibly. I have a new microphone. That's right, I splashed out on one that isn't a load of old bollocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, running a new microphone and running Elite and running a new joystick with Elite. Oh, yes. Uh, so anyway, let's talk Elite. Funnily enough, I have been playing this game continually. Um, as you see, my massive Gatling guns, yes, they are phallic in nature. And yes, it does say something about my own manhood. <laughs> but the funny thing about these uh, these guns is um, <laughs> turrets. They're actually turrets. Literally, they're supposed to be on like big ships. So these things are cleverer than I am. These two things in front strapped on the bonnet, um, pretty much duct taped on, I might admit, are probably cleverer than myself, which is, I guess, slightly, slightly disappointing. But there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, Elite is just a great place at the moment. I really don't know. Um, how I can sing its praise anymore, to be honest. I'm not even going to try because it's just so good. There is so much here that I think is fun. I think there's loads of good stuff here that's just just a really good game. It is just shaping up to be something excellent. Now, let me tell you about my joystick journey. <laughs> I actually bought a joystick. It's the... Hang on. Let me just shake it a bit. Hang on. It is... Uh, Thrustmaster 9000? No, that can't be it. That's got, that's got to be a joke. That can't be what it's called. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's actually called Thrustmaster. And it's called the TX or T something. It was it was $39.99 English Queen's Pounds from Amazon.co.uk. Um, <laughs> it's a great bit of kit. Feels a bit plasticky, but I tell you what, it's not bad at all. So <clears throat> definitely recommend it. I think if you... I was surprised actually how good it was. When I started playing um, with it, it... It just felt good. I thought there'd be a massive setup time. So as I sort of sat here, I thought, oh, here we go. Let's set it up. And I, I, I logged it in. I plugged it in. It seemed to do something. It made some whirring and whistling noises on my computer. And then I loaded a lead and I thought, here we go. I'm going to have to define each movement and each literally, literally every button and every press and every prod. But I didn't because in the drop down options, there was... The Thrustmaster 9000, um, which isn't his real name, I'm joking, it's not. The Thrustmaster, whatever its name is. Um, and it was all set and it works perfectly. So even somebody as, as completely, I don't know, stupid as myself was just plug and play. It was beautiful, it really is. And this footage isn't with it, I will show footage with it because it is actually really, really, really good as well. So yeah, I, I've got to admit, I'm... I'm sold. I'm totally sold. It, a joystick makes perfect sense. Now, it's got the side handle, so you can do your thrust. You know, if you want to really thrust hard, you can just push forward, thrusting hard. I am talking about my joystick still, honest. And <laughs> uh, My joystick, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll avoid that one. But you pull back when you want to pull back. <laughs> when you want to thrust out, you pull back. This is getting really graphic, isn't it? I have to put an 18 certificate on this. Uh, but it's got loads of buttons, it's got loads of stuff, it's got little hat switches as well. It's only got one actually, but it, it's it's really good. And it controls everything except landing gear, which I think I just haven't found yet. Because it's just covered in buttons, I need to figure it out. But I think it um, the only thing I haven't found is cargo scoop and landing gear. Everything else, so reassigning of energy around the ship is now done through the hat switch. You have primary, secondary and tertiary fire, which is nice. You have lock on to your target which is also a button on the front. And then you have your trigger, which makes you feel like a big man. And <laughs> that fires the guns at the front. So to be honest, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Um, in the footage, I've just realized <laughs> I blabber on. Um, I couldn't figure out how to make the turrets fire. So I thought I'd include that because it does show what an idiot I am at times. Um, to make turrets fire, you have to actually just set them in functions to fire at will or fire at target rather. If you want to just fire at the target, set it to that. But do, do yourself a favor, don't lock onto a station. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> okay. Um, these cannons are ridiculously expensive. Basically, those two great big silly cannons on the front of the ship were worth as much as the Cobra Mark III that they're flying on. So, yeah, I wouldn't go with... I guess ridiculous turrets like this on Cobra, but to be honest, it does the job. It actually isn't too bad um, at all. I, it really comes down to what you want um, to do with the thing. I think for myself, I'm kind of more interested in playing, um, <clears throat> I guess, the game in terms of just seeing how much fun you can have, seeing what you can shoot. 
and trying the different combos. Uh, so here we go, finally got them working. Look at that, they're just completely, they're just better than me at the game and it's quite disheartening a little bit, but um, they're pretty good. They're not the best things against shield, bear that in mind because shields are obviously very good at dealing with projectiles. But look at that, the beam lasers, nice. Um, these things are pretty, pretty good. So <laughs> I think you're gonna find that, you know, they're not bad. They're actually pretty good. And those beam lasers are amazing. Look at that, the, the, the angle they, they they fire at. It actually, if it wanted to, could shoot me in the head, sat in the cockpit looking at them like this, because it will rotate around and look at me. So if, I kind of feel they're kind of semi-aware. If I piss these guns off too much, there is a chance they will come and shoot me in the face. You know, <laughs> I think it could, be, it could be on the cards, but we'll see. Loving the beam lasers. The beam lasers have a really unique sound to them as well. They sound like they kind of charge up, then they fire, then they kind of cool down. I do like that. Um, they're not they're not particularly effective. I think it's because they're only level twos or class twos. Um, whereas the guns, the turrets are class fours, and so they're they're huge. Look at the size of them. I mean, that's like <laughs> it's like a turbocharger or something on the the bonnet of an old sixties car. It just looks great. Um, look at that. Look at the damage they do. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Really, really like it. And I love, I love anything with Gatling guns. To be honest, I was always a big fan of the film Predator. And you know that bit in the film Predator when they kind of clear a clearing in the forest just by using lead. I kind of like that. I I usually just sit and watch that if I'm angry, because it's actually very, <laughs> it's very soothing watching that for some reason. But some people like whale music. I like hearing Blaine's chain gun just completely fire and you know chop trees, chop trees down. Uh, but I think, yeah, having them in Elite is really nice as well. I think they just, they're good. They're really, really good. Um, I would always recommend maybe go with the gimbalized ones. Um, the turrets are good, but they're kind of completely independent of you. So it doesn't matter if you're flying or not. So just maybe bear that in mind because they, I guess, the turrets aren't right. It shouldn't, you know, they don't think they're right for a ship like this. For an anaconda or a cargo ship, they make perfect sense because they'll just fire while you fly straight. Whereas I think for a fighter like this, which is it is a fighter effectively, you should have guns on the front that, f I guess, face forward and shoot forward. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. Hope you enjoyed that. That was my little joystick story, um, which sounds ruder than it really is meant to be. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. <laughs>